Hi guys, this tutorial is for SketchUp beginners. First, you're going to switch the workspace. So first thing, you go Windows, Styles, and you can see you put all the bars to the right. It's going to be white. And press OK. And you can switch uh, different colors if you want, different edges. You can play a little bit to see how how it goes. But first I'm going to switch the units because the dimensions you can see in the bottom in the right it's in inches. So I go in window, identity in info, units, you can switch architectural, so I'm going to put decimal and meters. So the precision you can choose how much you want your draw can be precise. So I'm going to put just two zeros. In the right here you can switch the perspective you can put like two points perspective uh, like 45 degree perspective so first we are going to use this pencil to if you hold the shift key, the bottom shift key, it's gonna be like the ortho from AutoCAD if you, you know how to use it's gonna be in the axis all right we have the blue axis the green and the the green and the red also. So you draw and you can put like press one click and go to the side. It's gonna be one meter, two meters, and you can compare the draw you are doing with the person who already came with the program. I'm drawing a square, and they going to use this the two offset to create a offset of 20 and I'm going to use the press pull up 3 meters and I'm going to do a group because if you don't use the groups the drawing is going to be bad because the edges are going to be all connected and when you move and they scale like this it's going to be, it's going to be bad you know so it's better always use the groups because if, when you are going to apply the when you are going to apply the materials going all the groups so it's so much more easier and now I'm going to draw a, a door here use the press pull if you use two clicks uh, go straight to the end of the draw you know like if I press two clicks here in this wall it's going to and the other side. I'm going to create a simple roof here. So I'm going to create use the square and the offset again uh, to protect the house. I'm going to put 80 centimeters, and you can, as you can see, if you draw a square. I'm going to use the press pull of. 10 centimeters you can see we already have a roof I'm going to give a little bit of style <laughs> to the house not be so simple I'm going to delete those lines just go and when it's blue you click and press the delete I'm going to do a line as a guide here to see the mi the middle point, going to up one meters, and put one line in each corner of the roof. In stand the roof stand. Now I'm going to create a group. With three clicks and press the right button and create a group. Now you go in. Now you are going to apply the materials. So you go in this bug here and there is a lot of options you i'm going to put a little bit of rocks here in the floor you can switch the scale here in the edges parts you go and switch the scale if you want bigger or smaller 
as you can see here in this part you can choose by section can be grass wood brick whatever you can choose one of you want to go inside the block the to go this inside of the group you could just press two times and all the rest is going to be frozen so it's better I'm applying a simple texture outside and going to put the gray inside just to put it a little bit different and I'm going to do a full group of the whole house because I want to move to this part so I'm going inside the group again and I'm going to put the, a material in the roof I'm going to use a black brand of material go here and I put the roofing you can see it's vegetation transparency I'm going to t teach another day because it's more hard to use these tools so I'm going to apply here this black one in the group of the roof. I'm going to close here, and it's done. The, ho the little house is done. You can go in styles again to appear more architectural. I'm going to apply the style of drawing by hand. But I want to show the texture we just applied, right? So you can select anyone you want, uh, any of those styles, the different pencils, like this one is so architectural. And I go here to edit, remember? And you just apply them, display shadow textures, and done. It's a good sketchy. Now we need to save the we need to save the drawing, you go in save as use a random name, I'm going to save in the desktop and go file, export to the image and I'm going to you can go in options and choose the size you decide and I'm going to save here in the desktop as a jpg image as a base to export and it's done. I'm going to open the image just to show it's working. There the image base, it's already loaded. So don't forget to subscribe my channel, it's down here the link. I'm going to post every week a new video. Bye bye. Thank you.